everybody, it's Dennis Wood from Cinevate.com here. And we're here to talk about part two of our Pegasus Linear Tracking System series. And part one dealt with the kit, uh, part three, or the, the Pegasus kit for people who already have our Proteus rails. Part three talks about the Pegasus Heavy Lifter. And we think that this is probably one of the most versatile tools. So part two deals with the Pegasus Carbon System. And it, as you can see, it's intensely flexible in terms of how it mounts and how flexible it is in terms of altitude, the ability to level the camera, the ability to use a 100 millimeter, 100 millimeter bowl, and so on. So what we have, uh, and you, if you want to look at some of the other mount types that we've got set up, you look at part one and look at part three, because we've shown how this rig can be used on a table, how it can be used on a sandbag and in a, in a, um, an apple box um, for just quick, quick setups where you can drop it, get a quick shot, and get out. Um, in this case, we decided to do to show you, um, I guess what you could call an escalator shot. I don't know if there's a name for this. It's sort of a dolly and a jib in one shot, and you can see how the movement here will work. Um, but I, this rig is going to move up, and in this particular system, the Pegasus Heavy Lifter is designed for the 30-pound-ish, let's say, anywhere from 10 to 30 and up in terms of weight. This rig is more designed for cameras in around the 10-pound area, and that's why you see the rig that we have here with the HD21 and the Brevis rig, um, which is still a little bit heavy. And I see my camera's making some nasty noises there. There we go. So this particular rig can be ordered uh, with our 100 millimeter bowl or with our standard Proteus base plate, which would replace the bowl. So it would slide in here and it's less expensive. Um, it doesn't give you the ability to use a bowl and level your shots. So in this case, this particular rig um, would be the bare minimum. You could just mount your camera directly to that and get a lot of flexibility, as you can see here, um, in terms of how you mount it. So in terms of mounting height and in terms of angle, you can rotate this forward. You can have this entire rig upside down if you want. In other words, you could raise this up eight feet in the air and hang this upside down, just flip your footage and post. But the rig is completely happy being upside down. So we'll set that aside. And in this case, you can see the trucks actually with our 100-millimeter bowl. Um, this rig, as you see it, can be slid off just as you see it here, and suddenly it becomes a table or a floor dolly. Now on a countertop or a table, you've got a nice slick little rig. So if you have the Pegasus carbon kit with a bowl, and in this case, this is our 100 millimeter ball, which you'll see in the catalog, which you can add to your order. Again, it's low profile, so it doesn't interfere with uh, distance below. And if my trusty assistant can toss me this, this is sort of a Manfrotto piece, and you can see why we designed our own 100 millimeter ball, because that's going to be a bit of a problem uh, as it sticks down. Officially, we don't call these balls, we call those hemispheres for obvious reasons. Uh -huh. We're using our highly flexible system, which allows you to put a tripod plate here and a tripod plate down at the other end for dual tripod use. You can also use our legs, which are integrated for tabletop use. And finally, our 100 millimeter rails blocks here have a provision for grip rods. So this is standard 5.8 grip rod, which you can find in our catalog. And again, it fits into one of our standard C stands, again, which we're now carrying on the Cinevate website. So the idea is if you need a head or you need C stands and a slider, we should have you covered. And if there's something on our catalog that uh, you'd like to see that we don't carry, um, let us know and we'll, we'll look into getting um, the item stock. So uh, in this case, the standard C stand, uh, short grip arm, grip head, grip rod, and you can see you don't need any tripods at this point. You can also support this on one side, throw this on a sandbag, on the ground, uh, on a table, whatever. So you've got a ton of flexibility, and obviously with this rig, the ability to change the angle of the bowl, um, and I, I don't believe this is too tight. I can probably, yeah, I can actually change that right on the fly. You just want to make sure when you do this that the trucks are actually angled properly so that they grip. In other words, you don't want this like this. Okay, you want it like this. And you're gonna snug everything up here so it's nice and tight. Now we deliberately got it on an angle, but we're just showing you how flexible this is in terms of angle. All right, so that's uh, about covers it. Probably the last thing we have to mention is something that we didn't expect to be as popular as it was, and that's our cable kit. And our cable kit is really this assembly. In other words, if you've got any of the Proteus kits, uh, the Proteus Carbon or the Proteus kit for Pegasus rails owners, um, which include the trucks, and you can just check our catalog to see the different parts, but this would typically be inverted. The trucks would be adjusted like so to uh, grab the cable top and bottom, 
Of course, the cable's running through here. And these are kind of like winter tires. You can take them off and put on a different set. That different set of tires is our cable kit. All right, so you can unbolt these, put on the cable kit, and you're good to go for cable runs. Tons of flexibility. Again, patent pending system based on another patent pending system, which is the Pegasus, or sorry, the Proteus carbon rail system. So you can see if you're one of our customers, how we've retasked parts in an effort to make things as, as flexible as possible um, for you so that when you spend seven or 800 bucks, you're not just getting a system, but you're getting a multitude of systems that you can task in various ways. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, that's it for segment two. And uh, like I said, check us out on the web and uh, for new content at the Cinevate.com website.